as well. And everyone's having a great day. On today, we are gonna take a look and also we're gonna swatch this 24th set of Prim Rosea Dual Tip Marker Pens. Guys, I have been looking at these, well, not these, but the basic color set for quite some time, months and months and months. And I got ready to buy them about two weeks ago and went to look for them and they were unavailable. They only had the really, really large set and they came in a square box. I wanted this little oval um, round container because it was just so cute. Yeah, it's all about aesthetics with me. But they didn't have those, but they had these. They had the pastels. And you know I am a sucker for pastels. And lately, I guess for the last four or five months, I've been buying everything pastel. Anytime I see something pastel colored as, you know, related to art supplies, I buy it. Guys, these are pastel colored. I am so excited. Look how cute that is. I know the glares, but look how nice that look. It's so cute. I had some paper clips there too. And I've never opened it. So this is gonna be the, you know, true first impression. These are $19.99 on Amazon. I will leave the link below. These are um, water-based. You get a brush tip and a fine tip. Um, really excited about these. I know the colors are gonna be beautiful. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. Let's open up these and take a look and get ready to swatch. They are numbered, which is so cool. Sorry about that noise. <laughs> and I know I scare y'all with my blade. <laughs> All right, sorry about that noise. Look how beautiful. Oh, they're so beautiful. The packaging is so beautiful. I love it. Now, okay, I'm hoping I didn't, well, I'm not gonna say make the mistake. You know, the Kelly Arts, the brush and the fine, uh, markers like this come in a wide pink with pink flowers and flamingos on it. It's really, really pretty, but it's like that wide. And I bought that just for the container. I didn't care for the pens too much, but the container is really beautiful and it looks great on my bookshelf. <laughs> I hope that's not the case with these, but I don't think so. All right, let's see what colors we get. That container is just beautiful. Guys, look at these beautiful colors. I'm gonna move the container to the side. Look at the beautiful colors. We're gonna swatch all of these. Let's take a look. This is the brush. Nice. And this is the fine. It is really, really fine. I like that. All right, are you guys ready to swatch? Let's swatch. It's just a little piece of paper here. Uh, but you can get free watercolor, um, free color swatch templates. Um, to color a printable coloring book and this is the information where you can get all that really really cool all right I have my watercolor paper here because we are going to definitely swatch them and add water just to see what we get all right I'm going to put these in order 
on how I plan to swatch and I will be right back. Okay, I have these in order on how I would swatch them on the color. Uh, I think I wanna switch that one. No, no, that's okay. This is how I would set them up as far as color. So let's get started swatching these beautiful pencils. Sorry, markers. Let's move them to the side. I'm gonna bring you down. I'm not gonna put them in my swatch book just yet, but they will definitely go in the swatch book. This is number, this is 30. We'll do a single line and we'll do two. Oh, that's nice. And one will apply water when we finish. This is number 29. They feel nice. <clears throat> Number 34. It's a nice color. I hope everyone's doing well today. Pretty color. Can't wait to see how they look once we add water. Number 40. I don't know how they are numbered or what system they use to number them. All right, we're gonna go up here. Well, we need to go here. This is number, let's start up here. This is number 95. Yeah, I have no idea what not what numbering system they use to. Uh oh, wrong side. Here we go. To uh, number these, pretty pink. Pretty pretty. And I dropped the top. Oh, here we go. And we are into our pinks, you know. I love pink. Number 14. Can't wait to add the water and see what we get. More pinks. Definitely have a lot of pinks in this set. And this is our last pink, number 10. They're rolling. Put a paper clip. Let's 
looks a lot like the previous color. I don't know, we'll see once we add the water. Right now we are getting into our blues. Well, this is purple, number 52. Um, the blues and the purples look so much alike to me. So I don't know what's blue and what's purple, <laughs> but this is definitely purple. It's definitely purple. This is blue, definitely blue. Number 84. It's a pretty blue. This is number 82. Lots of blues. Number 78. It looks a lot similar to the, well, no, it, now it looks totally different. I don't know how pastel these are, but had to buy them. Number 87. And guys, you know I've been on this pastel kick for months now. And I think a couple of months ago I shared all of my pastel colored <laughs> um, coloring supplies. I think maybe in January. I'll have to do an updated, <laughs> an updated version of that. Because I've bought so many. Lately I've been buying a lot of pastel colored things. But check that video out of all of my pastel colored coloring supplies. This is number 79. It's the year I was born. Telling my age. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty color. Right, this is number 74 and this this color I was really excited about. Pretty color. Really excited about it. I hope I like it. It's pretty. I like it. All right, now we are getting into our green. And they just want to roll everywhere. I'm so sorry. They're rolling. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Let's get into our greens. This is number 73. They are definitely beautiful colors. Like definitely, like Easter. This is gonna be so fun to use these during Easter. Number 72. And your coloring books for Easter. This is gonna be so fun. Fun, fun. Right, our next color is number 97. I like
like that color. Mix color, 59. I love greens, I love all the greens. Oh, that's pretty. Right now we enter our grays. We're gonna put our three grays over here. Let's go with this is our lightest color. This is number 19. That is our lightest gray, number 23. I like that color. And our last marker, number 22. All right, guys, we have swatched them all. I am gonna bring you up so you can take a look at these beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I love them. They are very pretty colors. So now we're gonna just activate them with water. Let me grab my towel. And see what we get. I hope I have enough water in my brush. Probably not. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need more water in my brush. The color just gets lighter, more pastel, which I like, so probably always use water with them to get that light pastel like But these are very nice. I love the watercolor effect with them. Definitely like that watercolor effect. Let's go down here and activate this one. I like them better with the water, I guess, because it lightens the color a little bit. Definitely like them with the water. All right, let's go and activate our pinks. Just really beautiful. I will definitely use them with water, definitely. Sorry about the noise. <clears throat> One more pink. 
pink to activate. Let's activate this purple. I'm pretty excited about that. Really pretty. All right, we have this beautiful blue down here to activate. <clears throat> really, really pretty. I really like that. Nice. I love these with the water. All right, let's go to our blue up here. Another beautiful blue. This is a pretty color. Really pretty. I really love them with the water. <clears throat> pretty, pretty, pretty. This is the color I was excited to see how it will look with the water. Really pretty. Really pretty. All right, let's activate our greens. So happy I bought these. I don't know why I waited so long. Well, this set haven't been out that long, the pastels, but the other set, the primary colors, you know, I was looking at, I look, I was looking at them for months. And that's, sometimes I'm just that way about a particular product. I have so many products that I've been looking at literally for months and I have not purchased them. And then once I purchased them, I'm like, what was I waiting on? <laughs> and this is one of those products. I'm like, what was I waiting on? I should have purchased these months ago when I first um, came across them. But December, I'm on a no buy. <laughs> Yes, y'all. I'm on a no buy. I've been buying too much. It's not that I bought a lot in November, and you're going to see my November haul. I didn't buy, well, I bought a lot of pencils. Yeah, I bought a lot of pencils, but. Um, I was curious about this color. That's nice. That's more like a blue. Yeah, that's like a blue. All right, guys, we have swatched all of these out. I am going to pan you up so you can look at these beautiful, beautiful colors. The color on the left is just a marker. The color on the right is activated with water. 
and these are absolutely beautiful i am so happy i bought these i absolutely love them with water i would probably definitely use these with water more than just a marker or a standalone but i'm really happy to also have that fine tip i love the fine tip um, these are really nice markers, guys. Check them out. They are on Amazon. I will leave the link below. They are $19.99. I'm so happy I bought these. I finally took the big leap. <laughs> but I am glad I waited because I was able to get the pastel colors, which I'm a sucker for. But I will, I plan on buying, there was a large set of, think of like 100 or maybe a little bit less, um, of like the primary colors. I'm definitely going to buy those. Well, I can't buy them this month, but January 1st, <laughs> I can buy those. But guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about these beautiful, beautiful um, markers, just drop a comment below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. This was the Primrosia 24 dual tip markers with the brush and the fine tip. Guys, thank you and have a nice day.